cowardly baboon. One day, baboon was guarding the camp while the other baboons went to gather food. I am the bravest guard in the troop, she told herself. She charged at a shadow among the trees. I fear nothing, she whooped. She leapt through the branches. No enemy can match my strength. Who dares challenge me? I do, said a calm voice close by. Baboon looked up to see a big green snake hanging from a branch. She got such a fright that she fell over backwards, leapt up and ran off through the trees. At last, she ran out of breath and stopped by a big rock. She knew that she should warn the other baboons, but she said to herself, if they find out that I ran away from the snake, they will say I'm a coward. I may as well run away before they chase me away. At that, a furry little face peered out from behind the rock. Did you say snake? It asked. I did, the baboon said. Yippee, said the fairy face. I am a mongoose, but you can call me the great snake killer. Show me the snake at once. All right, said the baboon, but we must be very careful and very quiet. It's a deal. The mongoose whooped and clapped the little baboon on the back. But first, we eat for power. The mongoose flipped the rock over. Underneath were a lot of bugs that the mongoose woofed down in one go. First course, he said. You flipped that rock in one go, said Baboon. Yes, the mongoose replied. The bugs must know I am the great snake killer. Now, the mongoose said, second course. He dashed up to a tree and pushed it down in one go. Wow, said Baboon. The mongoose gulped down some berries from the fallen tree. The tree must know I am the great snake killer. Third course, he said, looking hungrily at a passing elephant. Wouldn't you rather fight the snake? said Baboon. Of course, said the mongoose. Let's go. They set off through the jungle, back to the big tree. Shh, Baboon whispered as they drew closer. We must be very quiet. Of course, the mongoose yelled. And the snake reared up out of the grass, towering over Baboon and mongoose. Oh, the mongoose said, rather softly. I see. You meant a big snake. said the snake. Run! said the mongoose. They both ran and did not stop until at last they ran straight into the other baboons returning to camp. Where are you going? said the baboons. Oh, no way! said the mongoose. We were just out for an afternoon jog. The other baboons looked at them a bit strangely, but then they waved and carried on walking straight towards the camp, straight towards the big snake. Baboon worried. If they find out I ran, they'll all laugh at me. But before they disappeared into the long grass, she shouted, The other baboons stopped and turned to look at her. Baboon gulped. I fear nothing, she said to herself. And so she told the baboons all about the big snake and how she had run away and how not even the great snake killer wanted to fight it. Mongoose was not very happy about this. When she finished speaking, the oldest of the baboons nodded. You are very brave, sister baboon to have returned to face the snake. And you are wise too, for sometimes it is better to be afraid and run than to be brave and die. So all the baboons returned to the camp together, and as a group, they were able to beat the ground and pound on the trees until the snake was scared and slithered away. And of course, Mongoose led the charge 
because as he said, the snake must know. <laughs>